Hello. Hello! In this video we're going to show you our boat. We will start by showing you the outside and then we'll show you the inside. To do that we're going to be using our action camera which has a bit of a fisheye lens so the boat may appear bigger than it actually is. This is with the camera and this is the action camera. Starting at the bow, we've got a Bruce anchor on the roller, and that comes back to an electric windlass. Inside the anchor locker here, we've got 60 meters of chain for the Bruce, the bower anchor. And then the second anchor, the Kedge anchor, is a Danforth. And with that, we've got 10 meters of chain and a whole load of nylon. We've also got a tiny umbrella anchor for the tender and an old school lead line got some nylon rope here to act as a shock absorber when we're anchored and we also have our anchor ball and motoring cone. We've also got my favourite fishing rod in here which is just a stick of wood which uh, you can put your bait on and then there are lots of places on the boat where you can just stick it and it fishes on its own. We have a roller furling Genoa on this boat and a mainsail and they're the only two sails that we've got so it's really simple. Here we have the hatch which goes down into our V-berth below. At the front of the boat we've got some room to lie down but not a lot so one thing that we do which is really handy is we have two tiny little hammocks that we attach to the forestay and they run across here and are attached here which is why we've got this section of whipped line here to hold the hammock and stop it from sliding down. So we have one of these on each side and you can often find me and Rossella lounging around in our hammocks at anchor. We have a keel steps mast on this boat, so the mast ends here. And then one of the additions that I did when we bought it was I've, I've designed and then made these mast steps out of aluminium. And it's just a really simple way of me getting up and down the mast if we need to do any maintenance without having to get into any complicated bosun's chair type system to get up there. Here we have another hatch which heads down into the saloon. This is where we keep our folding tender which is a great little bit of kit. It folds down to 10 centimeters wide then when we want to launch it we bring a halyard around the mast, use the winch as a kind of crane system, lift it up. It only weighs 20-25 kilos anyway but to make life easier we winch it up into mid-air, open the boat out and then we can lower it into the water. Uh, it rows really well and you can use it with an outboard engine, it actually planes as well which is pretty amazing and you can sail it too, I've built a mast and uh, you can sail around on it so I love messing around with a little tender. I'll leave a link in the description of the video where you can see the plans to build one of these yourself. We've got a slab reefing mainsail on this boat and we've got a lazy jack and stack pack system which means it's quite easy to handle on the deck. Here's our cockpit, it's not massive but because we've got tiller steering You've got plenty of room. If you move this up out of the way, you've got plenty of room to move around. We've got the engine controls here. We've got quite a large locker underneath here. And the gas for the stove inside is inside that small compartment there, vented to the outside air. Instrument-wise, this is a very simple boat. We've got a compass, a lug and temperature display, a depth display, a clinometer, and a fuel gauge. As well as the two lockers that I mentioned before, we also have storage below the floors here. If you lift up these wooden grates, you've got fiberglass covers that you can remove and then you can get down to access the, the bilge area in this part of the boat. So there's lots of hidden storage in here, it's really useful. Here we have another storage compartment and we've also got a shower that we can use either out on the swim platform or in here in the cockpit. Other things we've got on the back of the boat is this bimini, which is essential. It's a sunshade for when the, uh, the weather's really hot. That opens out and the boom passes over it so you can sail and have your bimini open at the same time. We also have this solar panel arch at the back of the boat, which I've built, which allow the panels to tilt and rotate and follow the sun. I'll show you a shot of this now. This is the best modification that we've made to the boat and thanks to these panels we can spend weeks on end at anchor without being connected to shore power. We bought them online and they were surprisingly cheap too. This is our swim platform and swim ladder stroke passerella. If you want to see more details about that we've got another video specifically about this on our channel. 
This is our ancient old outboard engine that we bought for 50 euros, which is about $60. Bargain. <laughs> we'll now show you inside the boat. At the front of the boat, we have the V-berth where Rosella and I sleep. Here we have storage on both sides. And this is the view you get when you're lying in bed. Underneath the bed, we have storage right at the front there. Under here, we have the flexible water tank. And then um, underneath both of the cushions, we have further storage. This part of the bed is removable, so you can close the door and stand inside the cabin. However, we leave it like this all the time and we use the space underneath for shoe storage. Here's a view from the front of the boat looking back towards the stern. And as we move aft, we come to the bathroom. Here we have an extractor fan, some storage for our toiletries, a sink with a shower head, the sea toilet, a dustbin and some more storage. If we head inside and turn the other direction, we have a wardrobe. and a small shelf for further storage. This is our saloon. This is obviously a table. Um, we normally leave it like that when we are just me and Chris eating or working. But if we want to have more space, maybe because we're working and we just need extra space or we have guests, we just open it and it gets quite big. So it's quite handy. Sorry, the boat is a bit squeaky. Yeah, that's our anti-thief floor. This table can be lowered if it's necessary and it can basically be a, a double bed. This is potentially another single bed. Boats tend to have as much storage as possible and this one is no exception. So underneath here, we have storage under each of the seats, behind the cushions, further storage, and each of these opens and this is where we keep our food and books, different things like that. There's further storage underneath this seat, that's where I keep all my tools. And underneath here we have the boiler, which uses 220 volt shore power to heat the water so that we can have hot water when we're in a port. Here we have our galley. We have a work surface here, which is removable. Underneath there we have a two burner gas stove, and we also have an electric two burner heater that we use when we're in port. We have some bottle storage here, storage below here, the storage behind these sliding doors and underneath here we have our fridge and here we have our sink. Again the storage underneath the sink and underneath here is where we keep our pots and pans. This is another bird and as you can see we are using it as a wardrobe. Uh, and it's full of our luggage, but it's quite normal for a boat. Uh, when a bird is not used easily, it's full of stuff. With our V-berth at the front of the boat, one berth here, a double berth here, and our quarter berth at the stern of the boat, in theory, we can sleep six on board here. Obviously, that's far too many for a boat of this size, and the fewer people that you've got on board, the more comfortable everybody is. Here we have the boat's electrical panel. This is the 12 volt system on board. We've got a VHF radio, a car stereo, a portable VHF radio, and here we have a PLB, a personal locator beacon. So if we ever have an emergency, we can press a button on there. That sends a signal via satellite. They know where we are and they come and rescue us, but we're never gonna to have to use that. Inside the quarter berth, we've got the breaker box for the shore power. We have the MPPT charge controller for the solar panels. And we also have this external display for the charge controller. Just ahead of the quarter berth, we've got our navigation table and below here we have some storage for charts. There's also some more storage underneath. Underneath this step there is more storage 
and then if we move the ladder aside behind here we have access to our engine this is a two-cylinder 18 horsepower Volvo Penta diesel engine and it has a sail drive we hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or if you'd like to see any of the systems on board in more detail then please leave a comment below the video and we may make more videos in future if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our channel see you next time ciao, ciao. Hello! <laughs> no, siamo tutti insieme. Ok. Ma sto dicendo in modo momenti diversi. Oh, Dai, non proprio insieme. Hello! Hello. In this... <laughs> Ma perché tu fai molto? Hello! I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. You ready? Hey! Ok. Hello! Hello! No! <laughs> no! Hey. Hello! No, aspetta, fai, fammi il piede così okay. prima di partire, solo uno. Hello! Hello. <laughs> Ciao. Ho fatto solo dire testa, non sono una onda, sì, mi ha detto due volte, veramente ho detto mi scappato da ridere. See you next video.